All right, this is URN vlog number three. I'm Reed. Uh, we are going to South Alabama Speedway for today's The Baby Rattler and some other series. Um, but we're going for Rattler 250 weekend. And for those of you that follow us on social media, you already know we got something pretty special going on this week. Um, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, you'll see here in a bit when we get down to the track. Um, let's just say we might have some representation on the track for the Rattler. Um, but anyways, I guess I'll see you guys down at the track. So we're here with the pizza man himself, Brayton Laster. First ever asphalt late model race. How do you feel about your car going into qualifying? Oh, it's in one piece. Hopefully it stays in one piece after qualifying and after tomorrow is right of the 250. Uh, I call it 250 because uh, <laughs> I'm from Indianapolis, but it's a pretty good piece. I don't think we're going to you know, compete for a win with my lack of uh, seat time or experience. But uh, I mean, some of these guys have three, four decades of asphalt late model racing. I've got 210 laps. So we're taking what we got and uh, going to see what we can do. So how do you feel about the team you're with, Van Meter Racing, and having Billy as your teammate? Yeah, uh, <laughs> Billy's a very vocal person. He'll tell you if you're doing something wrong. And it's it's good to have someone like that around. The same with you know, Ethan, my uh, crew chief and spotter. Uh, he's been a huge help as far as helping me adapt from you know, my dirt running on the race driving style. and you know, it's kind of helped me get through different stages of you new know, progressing we've made a lot we i mean we were like a second half off the pace to start out with and now we're only three tenths off quick time i believe so we're actually pretty proud of the, the progress we made and it's an awesome team a lot of awesome guys you know they work for van dorn right there out of michigan so a, a, a lot of good cars a lot of great guys and a lot of good equipment so as far as what you can tell us so far what are your plans for the rest of the year uh, hopefully we find Victory Lane. Um, might not be this Sunday, might not be next weekend, but the plan is to hopefully find Victory Lane. Uh, run a lot more short track stuff. You know, if it's in a late model or on a dirt car or even an ARCA short track is uh, possibly in the works. I don't want to go saying too much, but uh, it's kind of see where you know, the path goes. We were going to go to Talladega, obviously with the Mullins. Uh, that has since changed. We decided to kind of get a better opportunity elsewhere and see kind of how that will help me progress down the road. So a bit of a, a long-term commitment we've made. Uh, we can't really say too much yet, fingers crossed, but we're, we're really happy with things are, how they're coming along this season and we're excited to hopefully turn some heads this year. So we're here with Billy Van Meter, driver of the number 23 super late model for the Rattler 250. How you feel going into qualifying today? Uh, it's probably the strongest car I've had all year, so probably looking for a top 10 qualifying as long as I don't screw it up. But uh, it's going to be a good qualifying attempt. How do you feel about having Brayton Lester as your teammate this weekend? Oh, he's a he's actually a friend of mine at this point. Uh, I'm glad that he's trying something new. Hopefully he likes it and uh, I get to see him a lot more. I'll uh, like beating him the rest of the year. He does show up. <laughs> so. Uh, about last week, you know, the, the fire extinguisher incident, what, what's your take on what, what, what's your take on the incident? Both what actually caused him to throw the fire extinguisher and how do you think of his move? Well, in my honest opinion, uh, he's a guy with 20 years of experience, made a mistake, and I ran over him. And uh, that's a result of being a closed field. Him throwing a fire extinguisher is because he's a six foot seven baby, <laughs> but that's not my fault. He's got an ego, so do I. He fed his by throwing his ass fire extinguisher at me. But at the end of the day, um, 
it made a good YouTube video and it's funny and I live by uh, making funny moments out of bad and good situations. All right, so a bit of an update. Um, did some interviews, interviewed Brayton Laster and Billy Van Meter. You guys have seen those, so. Um, qualifying is going to start here shortly. It's going to be pros and then supers. And try to interview whoever gets the pole for both divisions, if not both. Definitely the super at least. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys after qualifying sometime. update because it's been a while since I've done one of these. So Michael Hine got the pole for the Baby Rattler tonight. Ty Majeski, he flew in from the NASCAR Truck Series race at Atlanta and he got the pole for the Rattler 250 tomorrow. So right now all the local divisions are qualifying. Um, I think they got one to go and I haven't gotten coverage from any of those. Um, just mainly focusing on the late models I think for this vlog because it's, it's so much. It's a two-day vlog. So I'm just going to stick with those. Um, but we're going to cut to the interview that I just did with the pole winner for the Rattler 250, Ty Majeski. So we're here with Ty Majeski after he just got the pole for the Rattler 250 tomorrow. How do you manage to do that? Just come from a truck race and immediately get the pole. I mean, it's unheard of. Well, first of all, I got a lot of laps here. So that helps. And then uh, the Super Late model is good this weekend. We worked on it on Wednesday and Thursday, knowing I wasn't going to be able to be here on Friday and Saturday. And dialed it in, did a mock run. Uh, I guess two days ago now and I don't know just stars aligned glad I was able to make it in time like I said there's is uh it's pretty cool we've won a lot of races um but this is something a little bit different and uh it was it was, it was pretty neat to to do that with no practice and sit on the pole so uh, just testament to how good this race car is this weekend uh, I think we'll have a, a good one for tomorrow so hopefully we can uh put an exclamation put on a good weekend already why do you think you're so fast at this track um i think a couple of reasons i, I think this this racetrack is a lot like some of the midwest races or racetracks that we race at up in wisconsin um and and, and our our package just works here what right what we do with these race cars just seems to take to this racetrack we've really been running the same setup here for the last four years uh this year is no different so um seems like it's still good hopefully it's good enough tomorrow again So, races are over. Bubba Pollard won the uh, the Baby Rattler. 
and I'm not going to try to get an interview with him tonight. It's already super, not super late, but I got a two hour drive home because I didn't get a hotel room. Uh, if anything, I'll interview him tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, it's been a long, long first day and going to wake up super early tomorrow and do it all again. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. So back at South Alabama Speedway, um, today is the Rattler 250. Uh, it's cold, but we're back again. We're going to do it all again. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know what I got planned as far as interviews and everything, but I will see y'all in a bit. solid uh we can't really fall back any more than we already are thankfully uh watch for qualifying effort yesterday but i got good faith i'm gonna move up hopefully throughout the middle of the pack uh pretty early on just kind of get experience as the race goes on and get real comfortable there with the last 7500 laps and hopefully actually start making some good moves towards the front but will this be my first race we'll see what we get and take what we got yes sir
We're here with Bubba Pollard after he just won the Rattler 250. So not just winning the Rattler 250, but winning the Pro Elite model race yesterday. What would you say makes you so fast at this track? I Man, I've been coming here for 20 years. Um, I love this place. I love the people. Um, just, just everybody involved. Um, you know, we've had some tough times here. We've had some good years. So uh, it's kind of where I got my first start uh, down here uh, back in 2004, three. So it's been a while, um, but it's been fun. We enjoy coming back. They, they're good hard workers down here and we want to support them. What do you think made the difference there at the end when you were chasing down the Jeski? <laughs> well, we got to say good tires. At first, the first set wasn't good. And I mean, we were good all weekend. And then all of a sudden we put on a set for qualifying and it showed qualifying, we were terrible. And then the first run, I was terrible. Come back in and I told him I didn't know what to do to it because it was all over the racetrack. And really just uh, putting tires on it and, and going and the car balanced back out. That's the best it's been. Um, so yeah, just kind of kind of a tire thing really. Just luck of the draw. So Brayton Lester brings it home 16th after an eventful Rattler 250. How's it feel? And just walk us through the race. Yeah, it was a pretty solid race, a lot better than I thought. All the, the body features are still on it for the most part. No major scratches and marks or tire rubs. Uh, we got an incident like that, 30 with a leader. Uh, first cost in the day, not the way I wanted to make my mark in the asphalt super late model world, but we kind of rebounded nicely. Got a couple lucky dogs, got back up on the lead lap, and uh, I think we finished one lap now at 16, which is going up 15 spots where we started. So we'll take it again. Good learning experience, got a lot of good seat time. Yeah, so uh, can we expect to see you in another asphalt late model race? Well, now that the car is uh, still in one piece, uh, who knows? You have to kind of sit down with Van Dorn and the Van Meters and kind of play it by ear, see what we can find out. We're looking forward to see what happens. Thank you. All right, so Bubba Pollard won the, uh, the Rattler 250. And uh, by now, you've seen the little post-race recap with Brayton Laster. He finished 16th. So the URN car, you know, did all right for his first ever uh, asphalt late model race. I'd say everything went to plan. Car came home in one piece, no damage or nothing. Um, and I interviewed Bubba Pollard uh, in tech. And honestly, I think that's about it. Going to head home and maybe get home before dark. We'll see. Um, and then we'll be back next week with coverage from Talladega Short Track. Hopefully, if it doesn't get rained out, we'll see for the, uh, the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Sprint Cars. So I will see you guys then.